What's going on guys? My name is Hussein and let's get right into the software news. Today's news is Googlebot will soon speak Ashtatape slash 2. I gotta tell you guys, I was surprised that I thought that the Google bot, which crawls the web and indexes it, you would think that it's already started using HTTP2, but um, apparently it's not. And there's a reason, obviously, for it. And uh, I want to discuss this article because I'm interested, obviously, in protocols, because backend, and I'm interested in HTTP2 because it's awesome. It's amazing. And guys, if you want to learn about HTTP2, I, I talked. I, there's a playlist all over here. Go check it out. Uh, check out the HTTP2 video that I made, and I talk about HTTP2 advancement, limitations, stuff like that. And then slowly, I'm gonna dent into the HTTP3. But let's jump into this article, guys, because this is very, very interesting. So let's start with what is a crawler. All right, just in case you don't know, guys, Google is the biggest web scraper in the whole internet, right? It just basically, it starts with one website, follows the link, downloads the link, and then and, and index those based on specific keywords that it finds on the content, and just start building a database, building a huge index, so you can quickly search on Google what you basically want to search for. So, and Google are doing this using bots, right? All, all across the internet, it's just spider and then follows link, link, link. So that's why if your website is not referenced by anything in the internet, it will be very hard to, to actually uh, get it into that index so it can be searchable. So now, how does this index actually work? What is it to do this today? Well, we're crawling the web, so that's HTTP, correct? And Today, it's using HTTP 1.1 as a client. So the client side uh, code for Google bot is HTTP 1.1. So what's the problem, Hussein? Is that, is, that, is that bad? Not at all, actually. The only problem is we guarantee that HTTP 1.1 is almost supported in all web servers because it's been there for years and years and years. The only limitation with HTTP 1.1 is the number of TCP connections that we need to open in order to download or, or, or make a request to multiple resources at the same time. Because HTTP 1.1 cannot allow us to send two requests in the same TCP connection concurrently to download two resources or multiple resources. And the reason is because it's a request response system. We talked about that, right? There is there is a hack called pipelining, but nobody uses that because of proxies and, and, and we can't get right that right. Yeah, you can send multiple requests in the same TCP connection, but you have to guarantee that those requests one, two, three, you get the responses as response one, two, three. If response three finished before one, it gotta wait. So that's what's called head of line blocking and, and all kind of problems we have with HTTP one. So that's that's the limitation we have. Like, yeah, so if your server, you have a web server and it's being indexed by the Google bots, you will see and, 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 and you have a lot of resources to be indexed. Then you're gonna see, start seeing a spike of the number of TCP connections opened by Google bot, which will then degrade uh, your performance on the server side might, might, let's say just might, right? Because of the number of TCP connection, that's that's more memory, that's more more CPU usage and, and stuff like that, right? So that's that's the only problem that we're aware of with regard to HTTP 1.1. If you have few resources, if you have like a bunch of resources, like a, 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 a JavaScript file, two CSS file, not a big deal because they're gonna open it, they're gonna do their thing, they're gonna close it and then move on. But if you have a lot, then you're gonna start seeing those spike as a web administrator managing your server. And that's the, that's a problem there. Okay, meet HTTP2. So they, they talk about what HTTP2, we know what HTTP2 guys is. We, uh, check out the content if you want to learn more about it. But they say, okay, why they're making this move to the HTTP2? Exactly the same reason I, I talked about, right? Having a single TCP connection uh, 
to the server will efficiently transfer multiple files over in parallel instead of requiring multiple connections. The fewer TCP connections, the fewer resources and the server and the Google board have to spend on crowding. That makes perfect sense. Perfect, perfect sense, right? So that's why they started using HTTP2 if and only if the server replied in the TLS handshake because everything is now almost HTTPS, right? If the TLS handshake from the server, TLS server hello, replied with the ALPN, application layer protocol negotiator, saying, yo, I support H1 and H2, Google, by default, will opt to use H2 or H1, and then we have no idea what we'll use. You don't know what. It will depend on some algorithm they didn't discuss in this article. I'm going to reference it below if you want to read it. But you don't guarantee that they're going to they're gonna use HTTP2 or HTTP1. All right, guys, let's discuss a little bit. Yes, you're going to have less connections because they have gonna, you're going to open one TCP connection and, and streamline all these requests into in single TCP connection as multiple streams, or I like to call them channels because I don't like the word streams. And, and each stream will have a request, so you can, you can essentially, they are dedicated right what the post forget to mention is yeah that's nice i have a single process or whatever what the post forgets to mention is http2 is not cheap son that is not correct yeah i have less memory i have one tcp connection but http2 comes with some problems there is tcp head offline blocking which is I talk about so many times. Check it here, right? There is also a cost incurred on the server to assemble and build these streams. So, and and, and there's an, a, Go, a Google I think uh, talk discussing this: the cost of HTTP two on the back end for the CPU usage. This is getting better. It's now CPU bound. It's not memory bound as, as much as a CPU bound. The CPU suffers if you have a lot of streams. If you, have, you don't have a limit to the number of streams, your server can spend a lot of time assembling and building those streams just so that it can, it can make sense of the stream, just so it can deliver the request to the application to be served by your web server. So that's a cost. I have no idea why they are not mentioning it here because... Because it's at a clear cost. We know about it. HTTP2 is way cost costly in, in terms of CPU compared to HTTP11, which doesn't have any of this problem. Yeah, Google and, and the other people from Cloudflare and people like that, uh, they are bringing the cost of CPU down as much as possible, right? Uh, with working with the with the stream, they they have a lot of stuff like over my head. Like um, they want to push it to the kernel level, they want to make these efficient. Um, they want to uh, avoid extra cost, like uh, making this uh, assemblage of uh, the request more efficient. So yeah, so yeah, just be aware. If you, if you were supported too, uh, you might see some CPU spike. Uh, that's why my guess, right? Again, it depends how many resources you have, right? Uh, and and Google, they will choose which algorithm, which protocol to communicate with your server to index your content based on, on some algorithm that we don't know yet. Right? Can you opt out? I don't care. I don't want you to connect me for HTTP2 for some reason. Let's say you enabled it and you have HTTP2 by default, but you start seeing these CPU spikes and you want you want cut you want people you want Google to continue to communicate with you in H1. I think there is a way. It says our primary test shows no issues or negative impact on indexing. Indexing itself, but they didn't mention anything on the server side. Like what 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 damage can this do in the server side? We don't know. Again, I'm just I'm just speculating here, guys. You may want to opt your site out from crawling over HTTP2. Yeah, because maybe you will get ahead some CPU usage. And I think uh, I'm going to reference it right here. Uh, what's the name? Lucid Chart enable HTTP2 very prematurely 
and their servers just died. CPU usage just died. Yeah, they didn't have like a proper configuration on the back end, but regardless, it just it just literally killed them. You can do this by instructing the server to respond with 421 HTTP2 status code. What the hell is 421? 421. Misdirected request. So even if your ALPN does support HTTP2, but when Google attempts to crawl your site over H2, you will respond. Respond with what? What how do I respond? But I want I want is there a way to do that? Probably there is like it's something I don't know about. There is specific like is that the robots.txt? Is that the file? I don't know. Uh, to be honest, I, I never did this before. But I have no idea how do you respond with H4.2? Uh, Which endpoint? Which endpoint should I respond to? Everybody? I want some people, some, some normal people to use H2, but I don't want the Google bot to use that. So they said, uh, yeah, you can just uh, send an email to the Google bot team to learn more. But yeah, again, guys, I, I uh, this might be true. This might not be, but... Uh, I think uh, I think the CPU usage thing is is real. People know about it. We've been we know about this in the community, in the protocols, and and, and the ITF. Everybody knows about the CPU usage cost of HTTP two. Does not that does not mean that it's gonna kill your server. It's just gonna feel it. I believe that's just my guess. Again, depends on the number of resources you have, right? If you're national freaking geographic, you're gonna feel it. Because there are a lot of resources and images and stuff like that to cache and index. Well, let's go through this a little bit quick and before we end uh, this video. Questions that you might ask. Why are you upgrading Google Bot now? The software we use to enable Google Crawl over H2 has matured enough. So they built the software on H2. Obviously, it's a big software. Guys, this is not, not an easy task. So they built it, rebuilt it using H2. They tested on, uh, and then it's ready for production. That's why they moved. Do I need to upgrade my server ASAP? It's really up to you. That's that's true because it doesn't make any difference. It doesn't make any difference. It's going to make indexing a little bit faster, but what is it to you? you you're not losing anything. Google bot is going to eventually crawl your whole website, but yeah, 100% H2 will be faster than H1 because there is a lem only, only limited number of TCP connections that Google bot opens. I don't know how many. I know the browser opens 6 to 10 in HTTP 1.1, but in the HTTP 2, there is stream limit. And I think those are 200 by default. So obviously H2 is way faster than H1. When, when you have lots of resources, if you have three or two, doesn't matter. This, this, this whole discussion is moot. Yeah. So yeah, Googlebot will continue crawl over H1. No, don't worry about it. How do I test if my site supports H2? Cloudflare has a blog post to do that. Yeah, you can do that. Uh, um, and and or 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 just do uh, a curl curl dash v I believe and uh, and and uh, Daniel Sternberg will tell you that hey I used H2 you you LPN told told me that he support H2 and H1 right let's actually do it sure why not let's give you some little bit of practical advice guys so if I do it a curl dash uh, v and do HTTP two Hussein Nasser.com. We're gonna do H oh, HTTPS. Did I do HTTPS? Yes. And if I do that, uh, handshake. There you go. It just tells you, right? Ah, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I, okay. So ALPN offering application layer program negotiation. I have a video coming up on this on this topic. Offering H2. So so the server tells tells the client, hey, I I support H2 and HTTP1. What do you want, son? What do you want? I can take any. Then the client, which is curl, decided to use HTTP2. I just read it somewhere here. I don't I don't know where, where is it? Where the heck is it? Connection state change, HTTP2 confirmed. There you go. ALP and server accepted to use H2. There you go. That's how you know. Or you can just go to the Cloudflare uh, blog and read that. I think it's easier just to go through that curl command. How do I bring my site to H2? Oh my God, this is a 
different topic. I I I agree with them that you cannot just <laughs> you cannot just ask this question. I made a lot of videos to do that. Yeah, your proxy server, your web server need to support H2. You can have your reverse proxy support H2 and your backend support HTTP 1.1. That is fine as long as you know what you're doing because there are cost of of these hops, right? Backend HTTP 1.1 is not as recommended as HTTP2 backends, which is not a lot of proxies support that. But I talked about that. Uh, check out the playlist that I talked about. How do I convince Googlebot to talk H2 with my site? You can't. That's right. Because they have to control that for some reason. Right? If a site supports H2, it is eligible to be in crawl over H2. Eligible. And then they, they, they did a good job on this. I, I'm, I'm glad that they don't always communicate over H2 because there, there is a cost for everything. And I don't think they talk about this for some reason here. But only if it would be beneficial for the site. So here's the thing. I have no idea how do they know. How do, they, how do you know how much resources is to... Yeah, I guess you can. If you're indexing a page that references, I don't know... Uh, 100 resources on, on a different site, then you know, oh, I'm about to open, uh, I'm about to download and index 100 resources. Is can I, let's let's TLS to that server. Does it support H2? Awesome. Let's use H2 because that's applicable. But if I'm gonna download a stinking PDF file, probably not worth it to open H2 because it's more expensive. <clears throat> Why are you not using uh, H every H2 enabled site? In our evaluation, we found little to no benefits. That, that exam, that's exactly what I said, right? There's no benefits if you have like few resources. If you have a lot, then it makes sense. How do I know if my site have been crawled? It will be logged, right? And I think they send, they better be. The user agent should tell you. In your log, when, I, when you do, book, do that, you send a request, right? Uh, 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 what is it? Uh, request. Request headers. You see the user agent. Always, always, always there is a user agent. There you go. The user agent is this kind of Mozilla because I'm using Firefox. Wait a second. That's not Firefox. I'm using Chrome. Is that Firefox? I have no idea. I thought this is Chrome. What the heck? Why are okay? I don't even know what's going on. Chrome and Mozilla and Linux and that's bogus. All right, so your user agent will be Google bots, maybe or something like that. So you can find from from by querying that. What H two features are supported by Google Googlebot? Most most are supported. Okay. Some features like a server push, which may, yeah. I mean. Why would you want that's actually neat if your server support HTTP 2 push and you want your Google? This is this is great, but I don't think they're gonna support it. If you're you can configure your server to support HTTP 2 push so that if you if you have been crawled, you want Google come to, to Google come, Google bot to, to to index all this other stuff as well. So HTTP 2 push is a great thing. Does Google support plain text uh, HTTP2, H2C? Nope, nope, and you you shouldn't enable this shit. <laughs> this is bad. Well, I forgot his name there, sort of security researcher, uh, James, I believe. I forgot. Uh, I made a video about it. Check it out here. Uh, he discovered uh, an HTTP smuggling attack recently on H2C. Despite us knowing that you cannot smuggle jack shit in HTTP2, because HTTP smuggling was a problem with proxies and HTTP 1.1 connection pooling. HTTP 2.2, HTTP 2, HTTP 2 solved this problem for us. But he discovered that if you use HTTP 2.c, there is a backdoor. That was a nasty backdoor to smuggle bad requests. So careful. Is Google going to use ALPN extension to decide which protocol? Of course. Is there any other way? You can't use upgrade because H2C uses upgrade. That's bad. We found out the hard way. ALPN is the only way in the TLS extension. I don't know what kind of question is that. How will different H2 features help? 
Okay, multiplex and concurrency, header compression? Oh, forget about that, yeah. Uh, you get header compression, which is something you don't have in HTTP 1.1. You can compress HTTP 2, which is, yeah. That's kind of less work on, on Google bots, so you can, they can index faster. So scalability for Google bot is good. I don't know if it buys you anytime. I guess, yeah. Uh, if your index, if your page, if your website getting indexed faster, then it's good. This feature is not uh, server push. If it's not enabled yet, but if it's enabled, this is this is powerful. All right, and uh, yeah, this is good stuff, guys. Res they say they said it. The primary benefit of H2 is resource saving, both server and client, and that's true, guys. There is no. You can argue that it's gonna be faster, if um, if you have a lot of resources, definitely, because there's only a maximum number of TCP connections that the Google bot can open to your server to to multiplex all that stuff, right? And then and that will be as a cost to CPU resources at the back end as well, which which is not much. We don't have that problem with HTTP one one. It's just memory either memory bound versus CPU bound. <laughs> you don't have to, you cannot escape this thing. All right, guys, that's it for me today. I, I, I wanted to discuss this very interesting article. I'm going to see you on the next one. You guys stay awesome. Let me know what you think about HTTP2 and other stuff. Have you been a webmaster? Have you done this stuff before with robots and Google bots? Let me know because I have never done this before. Let me know. I'm going to see you in the next one. You guys stay awesome. Goodbye.